It's beer o'clock on Relo Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Blackjack Beers and the Grateful Deaf. And it's a bottle of their India Brown Ale coming in at 6.4% ABV. There's a look at the label. Black bottle cap. Let's get this beer out into a glass and see what we get. Nice bit of smoke on the bottle opening. Beer in the glass then. I do like a brown ale. I do like an India brown ale. Ooh. There you go, that's a bit lively. I'm gonna put that down for a moment. Um, it's gonna just spill over everywhere, I think. Uh, so uh, gluten, barley, oats, uh, water, hops, yeast, uh, bill mill, malt bill, sorry, including oats, crystal, carrot, and carafa. Hopped heavily with crystal, mosaic, and zitos. Okay. Pick it up now, it's calmed down a little bit. Uh, we got a four finger, five finger tan colored head. It's a jet black beer in the glass. Well, I say jet black, if you, if you put your beer on the angle, yeah, it's, it's definitely a very, very dark brown ale, shall we say. You can see the carbonation rolling off the side of the glass there. It's not heavily carbonated. That head wants to stay. It doesn't want to go anywhere. Let's see how much of an aroma we can get out of the beer then. Through that massive head. Touch of licorice. Touch of spice. It smells pretty good. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Mmm. It's very nice. I like that licorice flavour. It's really pulling through. Um, a little bit of sweetness to begin with. Then it goes over to a bit of chocolate. A lot of spiciness, a lot of bitterness coming through from those hops. <clears throat> the brown ale aspect. The oatiness is coming through. It's got a little bit of nuttiness as well. I like that in a brown ale. And the carbonation, the carbonation is enough to push the beer around the inside of the mouth. It's very good. Drinkability. What are you looking for at an India Brown Ale at 6.4% ABV? It's going to have more body than a general IPA. Most definitely, without a shadow of a doubt. It has that body. It's the oats in the beer. It's the, it's the amount of malts in the beer. It's not big and thick and dense like a regular stout or an imperial stout. It's in between. It, it kind of sits in between that denseness of a brown ale and the denseness, or sorry, drinkability really, of an IPA. I like the nuttiness, I like the biscuitiness. I like that oatiness, that slightly creamy mouthfeel it's been giving me. And the hops on the back end, through the roasted malt, the only thing I'm going to say about the beer is the, the carbonation in the beer is just, if it was, it was, if it just dissipated a bit quicker, I'd be able to give you the full bore of the aroma, but I can't quite get in to that aroma. It's, it, it's just sticking around. You know, touch more beer in, it, it immediately fills up a, a, with, a, with a glass of foam. So I can't give you that, that aroma I really want to give you. I was very vague with the aroma just now. What did I say it was? A little bit of licorice and a little bit of kind of spiciness. Let's 
just give it a rating. I really like it. I would like it, I like it for the density of the beer, the, 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 the oatiness of the beer, uh, the drinkability of the beer, even though it's, it, it is a dense denseness to it in terms of the mouthfeel. I like the nutty aspect, the biscuitiness, the breadiness, the amount of malt they put in the beer, and the lovely hops on the back end. If you pull it away from the malt, the darker malts, um, because they're gonna, they're gonna have an influence of their own on a, on a hoppy beer. Um, they add a little bit more bitterness, that roasted malt. It's, it's a little bit of pineapple, it's a little bit of grapefruit on the back end. There's a nice bitterness on the back end and a nice spice. Let's rate it. As I mentioned, the only thing that's slightly annoying me about this beer is the fact that I can't really get into the the aroma. I can't fill my glass full of beer. It foams up quite quickly. That's the only thing that annoys me about this beer. Everything, everything else regarding this beer, I like. It's a nice beer. It's a solid beer. So for that reason, I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. It's a 7 out of 10 from Reload Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! And cheers.